Modbus ITU uses three different types of electrical interfaces for serial communication. Now let's understand these three different types of electrical interfaces. First one is RS-232, second one is RS-485 and third one is RS-422. So let's start with the RS-232. RS-232 is a simple point-to-point -point arrangement. If you only need to connect one device to another and the distance between the two devices is less than 50 feet, then RS-232 is used. Now if you want to connect more than two devices on the same line and or have a distance greater than 50 feet, we should use RS-485 or 422. RS-422 can address up to 10 slaves using the 4 wire full duplex and has a distance capacity of 4000 feet. While RS-485 can address up to 32 slaves using either a 2 wire half duplex or 4 wire full duplex and has a distance capacity of 4000 meters. A common mistake is to confuse the electrical standards like RS-232 with the protocol. Protocol is like mode bus, define how the data is structured while the electrical standards like RS-232 determine the how the data is physically transmitted. There are many different protocols like Modbus TF1, ASF, AS511 that can be used on RS-232, 485 and 222 wire systems. Now we have one question, what sort of cable to be used for Modbus? A shielded 18mm gauge cable with the twisted pairs is recommended. The shield should be grounded on one end of the side. Now for basic difference between RS-232, 485 and 422, you can take the screenshot of the below slide.